Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the Zendura Passport 2 Pro, which is a universal travel adapter. What makes this special compared to other travel adapters though, is that it has a 61 watt GAN or GAN powered USB-C power delivery output. So it can charge not only your laptop, but also up to five other devices at the same time, making for a total of six devices, which it can be charging at the same time. This device is currently available for pre-order on Kickstarter, and I've put a link below if you do want to order this one. The earlier that you order, the cheaper that it will be. So taking a look at the device, it has two USB-C outputs. The one on the side here with a little picture of a laptop is the 61 watt output. The one beside the USB-A ports is a 12 watt output. This means that for my uses, I can use it to charge my Nintendo Switch and a laptop at the same time while still having three extra USB ports for additional devices. And the top adapter can also charge an additional plugged in device all at the same time. For me, I've been using it to charge my laptop, Nintendo Switch, Apple Watch, phone and a power bank with still a few ports left over. So regarding the power output, the USB-C 1 port, which is the one on the side here, delivers 61 watts of output when used on its own. It also supports power delivery 3.0 and PPS at 3A. The additional USB port, which is port 2, just next to the USB-A ports, supports up to 12 watts, and the USB-A ports also 12 watts each. However, when using the 61 watt USB-C port one on the side here and the other USB ports at the same time, the 61 watt USB-C port one drops to a 45 watt output and the others drop to a 12 watt output in total. This means that while it is possible to still charge a laptop at the same time as using the other ports, it will charge just a little bit slower than usual and this may or may not be a problem for some people. So just quickly comparing it here to a GAN 61 watt charger, which I ordered from the US Amazon site a few months ago, which has a USB-C port and a USB-A port and a folding US plug, as you can see here. I intended to use this to replace my MacBook Pro charging brick, as you can see here, which is quite large and only has one USB-C 61 watt output. But now I can actually just simply use the Zendure Passport to Pro to charge my laptop at a full 61 watts in any country's outlet. In terms of weight, the Zengio Passport 2 Pro weighs 168 grams or 5.9 ounces, which is less than my MacBook Pro charger, which is 217 grams or 7.6 ounces. And so just quickly, GAN stands for gallium nitrate, which is the next technical innovation from silicon, which offers higher efficiency and less heat. So devices using this technology are able to be smaller and lighter for the same amount of power output. In addition to this, the Zendu Passport 2 Pro is fitted with an auto resetting fuse, where other adapters often only have a replaceable fuse. So that means the fuse won't need to be replaced, it just rather automatically resets rather than blows up. Another great thing about this is that it supports up to 10 A devices, so you can actually use it with some higher output devices that traditionally aren't able to be used with adapters like hair dryers, hair straighteners and some electric kettles as well. One thing I'd also like to point out is that as an Australian, the AU plug in this is actually really good too. It works by twisting the prongs so that they can be angled to fit into AU plugs. But not only that, they can actually be angled backwards and forwards. So this means that I can plug the adapter in higher or lower in the plug, depending where the switches are, which makes it a very convenient design. Now I should also note this is not a grounded adapter, but I don't know of any travel adapters that actually do have grounding. So if you do know any, do leave a comment down below. So it comes in two colors, a nice blue and black like I have here, and also a white and blue, which I also think looks really good. And depending on how early you pre-order on the Kickstarter, it will be priced as low as 35 US dollars and a final retail price when it releases on the market for 69 US dollars. And they're expected to be shipping from the Kickstarter pre-orders in around August. Overall, I highly recommend this travel adapter. And personally, I think it's one of the best implementations of a travel adapter that I've seen and it feels very well made and it has an auto resetting fuse and I feel that it'll be a really great travel companion for a long time. Do let me know down in the comment below what your favorite color of these two is, the black and blue or the white and blue. And if you know of any grounded travel adapters, do leave a comment down below as well. And be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with future videos.